What's up everybody? I already tried to make this video like three times and it's been so cringe because I'm rusty at this. I'll admit it. I'm rusty. But alright, we're gonna do uh I ain't doing like a top five. I'm just gonna show you my the lures to use. So number one. You don't have to use this particular brand. I I prefer Z-Man in the winter in the summer you could get by with Guggen but I'm going to show you how to rig it just grab it line it up right there then come over here put that in there you go I think that hook might be a little bent not sure but there you go there's the Ned rig that rig will kill it then next we got some spoons. There's this oh, spoon from I forgot what brand that is. HO Express. Then Strike King Jiggin Spoon. That works good too. Then the next up. Alright. Getting all messed up right now. All getting tangled up. Next up we got a blade bait. And blade baits work good too. They work really good in the winter and all summer too. And I got a hook hung up. Put that out real quick. One second, guys. All right, here we go. Um, I guess I'll go over this one since the hooks are sharp on it. I broke off. I had high pound test on it. And broke it off right there, but. It's a jerk bait. You don't have to use Guggen. That's just the one I have for this video. Honestly, Rapala is pretty good on jerk baits. And next up, we got a little plastic worm. These right here are the Bass Pro uh, 30 pack. So there we go. You could do that. Or you could do Yum whatever you want that one was like ten dollars since i got the 30 pack you could go with any brand you like it's just a preference because i wanted quite a bit of them so i got the 30 pack so next up let's see a uh, rattle trap or a lipless crankbait whatever you want to call them this one has that but rattle traps you could yo-yo them if you don't know what that means you reel it cast it out you reel it then you pop it up let it go back down then you wait and do it again it represents a dying fish but if you you have shad in your lake it represents a dying shad so next up is let me move these next up is a jig any type of jig you want Swim jig, uh, I don't know about those, but like a football jig, those work really good. This one's like a finesse jig, and I thought I might as well put a trailer on it, so I put a crappie lure on there, so there you go. And you always want to modify them, like this one. Uh, I need to shorten it so I could get better hookups. That's just my preference with them. And... I guess I didn't get the other ones out. Okay, so this one right here, I don't want to come out of the other one. So, all right, there we go. Is this one is a Strike King? See how? Well, oh, now that one's caught up. Great. Just a good video of coming back to YouTube. All right, see the difference? This one will have a tighter wobble. You're gonna like wanna slow roll this, like real slow. And see, I have other, other jerk baits right here, right there. And these I like too, Cotton Cordell. And since I'm in here, the uh, shaky head looks real good too. So, so 
to all of them. Get in there. All right, and then let's just do these. Uh, like just a finesse worm to put on a, like any plastic. Just suck in the nose, have your drop shot. You'll, it'll be pretty good. And then instead of your weight, what you could actually do is tie the Ned rig so you have two lures. So if you're in New Mexico, which in New Mexico you have to have a two rod limit, but apparently, I don't know if it's true. So apparently you have, like if you have two hooks on one line, it counts as two so if you're like bait fishing and you have that on you're you're not gonna be able to do it in mexico you only have one rod for that so um and the last one is even a lure and you could do the well there's this one a little swim bait you could use that one strike king you could use high tech and you which one you want and last one is a lure. Uh, it's a minnow. Just bass minnows. If you have minnows in your pond or lake, they're, or any live bait really, will work pretty good. And cut up shad works pretty good for catfish. Really anything. So there's a couple bonus tips. So I hope you like the intro and I hope you all like the new outro. And I'll see you all in the next video and later.